This is Witchbase News for Friday the 3rd of November 2023 ...I'm Commander Burr. In Elite Dangerous News this week ...we have an efficient method for gathering ship engineering materials that you may have missed ...there's a spectacular collection of 3D printed professionally painted Elite Dangerous ships ...and senior community manager Sally Morgan Moore is leaving Frontier. If you enjoy our videos please do hit the like button and if you haven't already be sure to subscribe and ding the bell so you don't miss any of our Elite Dangerous content ...and if you'd like to help directly support the Burr Pit you can also join our Patreon ...links to that and everything else are below. First up this week I wanted to give a shout out to Commander E Android and their excellent tutorial on the efficient collection of raw materials for ship based engineering. I knew this kind of collection was eminently possible but I've not yet seen it explained in video form as succinctly and clearly as Commander Android has managed to do. In simple terms the process essentially involves using flak launchers or mine launchers to dislodge the materials from a surface POI and then using collector limpets to pick them up much faster than you could ever do in an SRV. The core trick after dislodging the mats from something like a brain tree or a crystal shard is then moving your hovering ship back just far enough from the surface so that the growth despawns but it leaves the mats in place allowing your limpets to scoop them up largely unhindered. The Good Commander has also included a recommended crate based ship build as part of the guide in the description of the video and you'll find their video linked below this one. If you're into 3D prints of Elite Dangerous ships then this next item is definitely for you. Silencer555 on Twitter has previously posted images of a giant Thargoid Medusa facing off against an anaconda both beautifully painted and with working LED lighting. The commander has now added to the burgeoning large scale collection with the addition of a Chieftain, Beluga, Type 10 and Corvette all similarly professionally painted and with LED strobe and navigation lights added. The paint jobs were added by an Etsy based artist called Winged Wolf Minis and Silencer has since added the LEDs. There's a picture set and a quick video tour all of which you'll find linked below together with a link to the Etsy store that created them. It's seriously impressive stuff ever so slightly jealousy inducing and comes with a side order of wallet emptying. Don't say we didn't warn you. After a collective 6 years spent at Frontier both in production and public facing roles the time has come for Elite's senior community manager Sally Morgan Moore to bid a fond farewell to the Cambridge based developers and to the game that she is rightly most associated with at Frontier ...Elite Dangerous. Sally started at Frontier in 2016 as an assistant producer on Elite Dangerous later becoming a product manager for the game. Some of her biggest influences on the game are the ubiquitous camera suite that is such a huge part of many commanders Elite Dangerous experience and the Stygian paint jobs that are a highlight of the ED yearly calendar both of which she helped create. It was during this period that Sally became best known to the community as a semi regular on the Elite Dangerous livestreams alongside her friend the then lead community manager Will Flanagan. Their joint livestreams and the shenanigans therein became the stuff of Elite Dangerous community legend. After a spell away from FDev at No Breaks Games based in Tenerife working on Human Full Flat ...Sally returned to the FDev fold in April of 2021 as a community manager on Elite Dangerous. That timing meant she was there to help the community and the game through the turbulent early days of Odyssey's launch just one month later. In August 2022 Sally became the senior community manager on Elite Dangerous and her presence has prevailed on every social media outlet that the game utilises. Her gentle but firm guidance, grace and humour will be particularly missed on Twitter and on the official forums. Her legendary patch and update notes alone have become a much anticipated community highlight and updates to the game will never feel quite the same from here on. 
In the last couple of years Sally's appearances on the Elite Dangerous livestreams alongside Arthur Tolmy have become regular highlights in the games monthly calendar and her presence on the streams without a shadow of a doubt will be keenly missed by both the viewing community and by the team at Frontier. Where Sally lands next and what she's doing we can't yet say. All Sally has said on the forum post announcing her departure is that, as you can imagine, she's very excited for the role that she's been offered and it is a truly meaningful move for her. It's great to see that Sally has managed to land herself a plum role especially in the midst of such challenging times for the games industry as a whole. FDev itself in particular has not been immune to those challenges as we reported recently. Frontiers loss is undoubtedly going to be a huge gain to wherever Sally is headed to next and we know she will continue to shine like the bright star that she is in her new role. On a personal note for us here at the Burr Pit Homestead and our own community as a whole it's difficult to overstate our gratitude for everything Sally has done for Elite Dangerous. Her help, advice, guidance and attendance of this years PitCon event in particular will always be something that Rini and I will look back on very fondly. Of course Arthur and I are still very bitter about the cheating during the sci-fi movie quiz at the show but let's not dwell on that. Sally is going to leave some big shoes to be filled but from every single member of the Burr Pit we would like to wish you the most wonderful onward journey with all the successes and happiness you truly deserve. 07 Sally Do you own any 3D printed elite ships? Are you emptying your bank account looking at the ones in today's show? Are you now raw material gathering from inside your ship? Let us know in the comments below. That's it for now. Thanks very much for watching. We'll be back later this week with more videos. Until then 07 CMDRs follow the greens on the way out and do keep clear of the toast rack. We very much look forward to seeing you next time. Bye.